or maybe that's a great opportunity to go to Montreal um, and just to have that time to research and develop some further ideas on the topic. It was about like protesting bodies, resisting bodies with dance actually. So in Western countries often I have the impression that it's very verbalized, protest is very verbalized and it's like you're holding a picket, you're shouting, you're marching, but there's not so much physical action. And I also knew it from myself, from my own background, um, that when I was growing up in Germany, that the Korean community danced more, or made music while protests, and it was as important as shouting and talking in a speech and so on. So it was a little bit about that relation and then also the indigenous community here in Canada uses some of that or these elements are very important elements so we also wanted to exchange and see a bit. It's not about revenge, it's just you have this suffering which they talk about Han and it's very physical in the solar plexus uh, that you feel it and it's also uh, transgenerational, you pass it on, um, although not consciously. It's always this balance also where we come together again. Because there is this other element of Hung, which means joy, pleasure. And Hung is this, this music, this dance which comes in, which also releases the Han, which is there, so they always work together. So that we just started to get the word out. Uh, that we are interested in practices, mostly resistance practices in certain dominant structures, both of us having experience as marginalized people in a uh, dominant white society. And just to see like, how do you, you know, create, it doesn't have to be uh, against something, you know, it doesn't have to be um, like about fighting, but what are the artistic means and how are also the practices of collaborating. Um, because we have these different backgrounds and practices and I would definitely say I do not bring the uh, practical experience but I really like a uh, dance context and also kind of question and what's what, what I really like about your work as well about questioning and deconstructing the contemporary dance and just to see like how can we create different forms of working, movement, uh, language and spatial language and I think all these different elements that play into an artistic work. I think also looking at what artists are doing, especially marginalized artists, racialized and hearing about those broken promises that especially indigenous people have uh, faced or other marginalized people have faced. If we want to live together, what do we need to do for each other? And how do we make promises and how do we keep promises? And this idea arose of having little promise baskets hanging there that people who will come here can just like be interact a little bit. And we will also prepare some questions that uh, guided us. What does it mean to the people? Because we are not here to teach anything, but rather learn. And I think that is a very good um, approach towards the complexity of the world, right? Just to like, oh, I actually don't know and just to like, okay, do you know a bit better? But do you know a little bit more about it? And just to get into communication, so being in this space, being welcomed by you, yeah. uh, being welcomed by the people from Goethe Institute and just being supported. And it's also a very um, a caring structure that you need 